Factsverse presents… Experts unearthed a 3.8 million-year-old skull in Ethiopia that may change the face of human history. People have been fascinated by the origin of humans for centuries. Many archaeological digs have led experts to some of the answers to help us understand more about evolution. While we've learned a lot over the years, there are still gaps of information that are missing. Experts are just waiting for another discovery that can help them with the answers they need, and a recent development has led researchers to believe they may have found a very important clue. Paleontologists consider the Waranzo Mila site, which is located about 300 miles from the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa, to be a significant place. It's located near the borders of Djibouti and Eritrea, and it's been a site where many evolutionary clues have been found in the past. One of the most surprising discoveries occurred just 18 miles from the site in 1974. This is where scientists found the famous Lucy skeleton. She's believed to have been a member of the Australopithecus afarensis species, and she is a descendant of humankind that lived between 2.9 and 3.9 million years ago. It's one of the most amazing and treasured relics ever discovered. Lucy's discovery was an essential specimen because it helped us understand how humans evolved to walk on two feet. Researchers made another discovery in 1965. They believed that this person lived between 3.9 and 4.2 million years ago. Unlike Lucy, this specimen was not intact. Experts have only recovered teeth, a jaw, and some arm fragments. In February 2016, another startling discovery was made in the area. This time, it wasn't discovered by a scientist or an archaeologist. It was a goat herder named Ali Barino who made the discovery. He was digging about three miles from Miradora so that he could build a new goat pen, and it was then that he found a part of a jaw called the maxilla coming up from the ground. He contacted the government officials immediately, and they believed that the maxilla would be of great interest to Johannes Haley Selassie, who was the co-leader of the group digging at Waranzo Mili. Ali had a reputation with the experts, and there were many times that he'd claimed to have discovered fossils, but each time Johannes made the trip to his home, he found nothing. Well, this time, Johans didn't want to make a trip for nothing. He told Ollie that he could bring the specimen in. Johans had been surveying the site since 2004, and during that time they found many individual fossils. They weren't sure if Ollie found anything this time, but if he did, they wanted to see it. Johans never expected that Ollie's find would be the most important one so far. When Ollie proved that he really did find a fossil, Johans took the trip to his home. He walked over two miles to the pen to find the rest of the skull. It took a while, but finally he believed that he'd found what he was looking for coming out of the ground. Johans became so excited he started jumping up and down, and that caused the government official who accompanied him to think that Johans had lost his mind. He told CNN News that when he saw the rest of that skull, it was like a dream come true. It was the most significant find to date. After removing the rest of the skull and wrapping it in a scarf, he took it back to the museum to study. One of his colleagues claimed to have never seen Johans so happy in his life. After getting the skull to the museum, they went back to Miradora to scour the earth for any more relics. It was a 16-hour dig, and for a while, all they found was goat droppings. Well, finally, they did find more fragments. It took over three years for the team to study the bones. This was not the first bone from this species of human ever found, but they had never seen a complete skull. Finally, they could put a face to the name. It possessed larger canine teeth than earlier humans. Other aspects helped the researchers to determine more about the diet and the behavior of this species. The face was broad and protruding, which made it perfect for chewing food that was difficult to chew. Experts unearthed a 3.8 million-year-old skull in Ethiopia. This find might change the face of human history, literally. We have a better now understanding of where we come from. For Johans, it was the find of a lifetime and the find of his career. Subscribe for more!